Thank you, Tony. The Target 12 investigators take you inside the mafia now. Day three of a high-profile mob murder trial goes from Boston to Providence. Today, jurors were taken from federal court in Massachusetts, brought to a crime scene in Rhode Island in connection with the case of former mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi and another man who are charged with murdering a witness. Target 12 investigator Tim White has the latest developments now from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Before jurors came here to this Providence Mill building where Stephen DeSaro's remains were exhumed in March 2016, they visited the former home of Cadillac Frank Salemi. It was in the kitchen of this Sharon, Massachusetts home where investigators say then mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi, his late son and co-defendant Paul Wiedek, strangled Boston nightclub owner and Providence native Stephen DeSaro in 1993. Jurors viewed the outside of the home before coming here, a Branch Avenue mill building in Providence. The court requested that the jurors' faces not be shown. It was here investigators say mobster Joe DeLuca delivered DeSaro's body after picking it up from Salemi, then along with two other associates buried DeSaro 10 to 15 feet into the earth. Records show at the time of the murder, the mill was owned by William Ritchie, a close associate of capo Robert Bobby DeLuca. In 2015, Ritchie was charged in a separate drug case. Under pressure from that investigation, he told prosecutors about the location of the body. Salemi and Wiedek were not at the jury view. Investigators say they killed DeSaro because they were worried he was going to cooperate with the FBI. Both have pleaded not guilty. We checked out state records and they show that the corporation that owns this building, it's called Branch Realty Incorporated, is no longer in the name of William Ritchie. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.